Sure. So, um, Nitinji, hello. Welcome to Sarah's Astro Tarot. And uh, let's do a short prayer before we start your session. And let's do Om Namah Shivaya. And let's thank our Vahe Guru for giving us a chance to transcend in this beautiful world of the planets and in this beautiful world of the houses and the beautiful constellations. And it's a very warm welcome. And with Om Namah Shivaya and Vaheguruji, we're going to start Om your <laughs> So, so Nitinji, you're happy, comfortable, already in a happy space. Yeah. The lovely painting is to cheer, cheer your mood and the flowers around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm glad you do. So, Nitinji, your ascendant or your first house is Libra. It's ruled by Libra. So, what is ascendant? Like when you were born on the eastern horizon, the planet which showed was Libra. So this is your ascendant. Ascendant is what? It's your physicality, your body and your health, your physical disposition, your temperament, your intellect. All, all. If there, there is no ascendant, there are no other houses. This whole horoscope is thanks to the first house, which is you. So the physical dense body, the Tanusthan, they say, is the first house. And you have a beautiful ascendant sitting there, and the ascendant is Libra. Lib and Libra is, you know, whenever we see Libra, we see the beautiful lady. She's blindfolded and she's holding the scales, which means that there's justice and there's equality. And the blindfolded um, lady, the, the queen of the justice, she sees no caste, creed, religion she's balanced there's equality equilibrium right in the sign of libra and it's about relationships it's about partnerships it's about other people so uh, since you're sitting with that sign so you're a very people's person you know who's very fond of people i'm sure you never sit alone you're always surrounded with friends or other people you like them you don't like them you're comfortable you're not comfortable that's a different matter that depends on other planetary positions, but the basic temperament is of um, other people being joyous and finding your uh, peace or yourself with others. You know, somebody who belongs to the masses, right? And um, also you're ruled by the very beautiful planet Venus. Venus is the planet of beauty, grace, your propensity to form relationships, is also controlled by the planet Venus. So it's the planet of grandeur, you know, all the uh, luxury, not the basics in life, but the luxury, like your air conditioners, your washing machines, your exotic interiors, your cars, or all the fancy things like, you know, ladies are wearing this jewelry. So all the fancy uh, things are in the domain of Venus. And of course, uh, these are the things which are very material, but Venus is the true planet of spirituality. It actually makes, uh, of course, if it's very well placed, then it's true spirituality, you know. So um, you have this beautiful Venus in the house, 11th house, and it's in conjunct with five other planets. I hope you know that. So Jupiter, Saturn, Sun, Mercury, Rahu, Venus. It's a bombastic horoscope. <laughs> you have six planets in the 11th house. So now this is very challenging because usually people have one planet, two planets, tri planets, quadruple planets, but you have six. So the hexagon is quite a, um, you know, it's quite a thing to crack it any which ways. So your ascendant is 14 degree and uh, your Venus here is 20 degree. It's pretty close to your ascendant degree and you are in a Mahadasha of Jupiter. You know that? 
and your Jupiter Mahadasha began from 2010 and will rule you for 16 years till 2026. Right? Are we clear on that? And in this, you're yes. doing Antar Dasha of Moon, the beautiful Moon. And Jupiter in Moon. And this began in September 2021, the Antar Dasha of Moon. And it's going to rule you till Jan 2023. Right? So we're trying to do this study of Jupiter here, and which is one degree. Uh, you have a very powerful Jupiter. It is, you know, um, in the language of Jyotish, it's called the Sandhi degrees. Um, zero, 29, one degree. They're very powerful. These are the Sandhi points. So it's like, you know, uh, between the sign of Cancer and Leo, between the water and the fire sign is the Sandhi point. So it's a very powerful uh, juxta point. So this is a powerful planet and it's going to give you, mm, it's going to give you very um, bombastic predominant results. Yeah, but the one degree planet. And uh, now we'll little start to understand what's your Jupiter doing in the house of Leo. Now you know that it's in the fifth house, right? And fifth house, it's in the sign of Leo. I've sent you a screenshot of your horoscope. So now let's understand what's Leo. So as we know that Leo represents the lion and it speaks about the regality, it speaks about royalty, power, position, status, the throne, because for the king, there is a throne which is position and it's, you can also say it's the royal palanquin or the royal throne room because the king sits in the royal throne room. So this is the point of center stage. It's a very attractive, very powerful uh, point. This is the power of the seed, you could say, okay? And the throne is always kept on a pedestrian. So your Jupiter goes in the sign of Leo so your Jupiter will be behaving this way. It, it's got the, what should I say? It, it's got the flavors and it's got the garb of Leo, right? So, and also what happens is that we all know that um, the graceful lion is the king of the jungle. Though the elephant is very powerful, but still the king of the jungle is regarded as the lion. So everybody is scared of the lion's roar. So the now what happens is that in the celestial cabinet, Lord Surya is also the king. So there is this huge kingship quality, which is predominant in the sign of Leo, right? The planet ruling Leo is Lord Surya. And so there's this confirmed status there's the confirmed honor of the status and there's also dignity because the planet uh, is very royal, it's very dignified and so is Surya Dev. And uh, in the cosmic man's horoscope or they say the Kalpurush Kundi, uh, your Leo is sitting in the 11th house but it's originally the 5th house energy, right? And 5th house is the house of creativity, it's creative progression and it's house of children and the amalgamation of the yin and yang energy which is the male and the female energy are beautiful children. So that's the highest form of creation they say in the material realm. So we see higher academic uh, qualification, you know the academic um, studies which we do it's seen from the fifth house, right? And also in the times of the kings and queens, the higher education or even education, only the royalties had access to it. It was not for the commoners. We've seen in Mahabharata that how Karna was denied knowledge when he went to uh, Guru Drona. He was denied knowledge because he was of the lower caste. Right? And he, only the Kshatriyas or the Brahmanas had access to knowledge. Right? So even in nowadays DNA, it's very royal to have knowledge. 
it makes a person very elevated it makes a person very royal so it's always you know the domain of the royalty to be having good quality of knowledge so um and in the human body if we may wonder what um controls what, what is leo controlling so leo controls i want to purposely make this side the heart <laughs> so so leo predominantly is about the emotion it's about the heart it's about the stomach it's also controlling your lymphatic system it's controlling your liver your spleen so if you may wonder that which are the body parts which could be very um active during your mahadasha could be these body parts right and also yeah yeah jupiter um yeah no no we're talking about leo and the body parts so these are the body parts and so now we put jupiter here now let's understand what is jupiter now jupiter is uh the planet of knowledge jupiter also controls your belief systems and is also your initiation of spirituality initiation of philosophy this is the house where it all originates it all begins because your jupiter is now so now jupiter is ideally you know in hindi we call it guru we call it guru because it's the preacher it's the teacher and also what happens here is that all the religious realms are through the planet jupiter we spoke of spirituality which is the ultimate spirituality form which is venus because venus is also the guru is the guru of the danavas isn't it like this is jupiter is the guru of the devta and that's the guru of the asuras both are gurus right and there is this um, knowledge of um, you know bringing the dead to life that's the knowledge which venus has so uh, it's spiritual it's powerful and it's about life giving but the initiation happens through the planet jupiter right and um since also we have to understand one thing that the um preaching teaching all is jupiter that we understand and since jupiter now wherever jupiter goes jupiter is a planet of expansion is going to expand the qualities wherever it goes right so your jupiter sits with five other planets so be rest assured the qualities are going to be expansive because that's what jupiter does right and yeah. uh, now your jupiter is in a close conjunction also with the planet sun now sun rules leo and your jupiter also sits with sun right and what is there with sun is that you know it's a luminary planet you know there's no life on the planet without surya dev because it offers light heat that's why the life and uh, all the vegetation and all all the life sustenance is because of lord surya right so what happens is wherever surya sits is going to give the shining luminous quality to those planets and jupiter has this quality of expansion so it's going to expand right so it expands the qualities of sun and sun is shining the qualities of jupiter how's that it's a bedazzling combination <laughs> i'm sure it's bedazzled you quite a many number of times so now with this unique disposition what happens is that um it's a moon trigona sign it's a very powerful sign uh leo and your planet now i i'm sure you're a very famous guy very lovable man um and very sought after because you know your major planets are sitting in the moon trigona rashi and it's the 11th house and they could be now 11th house is upchaya house it grows it grows with the matter of time if initially there is denial with progressive time your fame name your shine it's definitely going to reach out places right so uh now what happens is that um 
this could give you bursts of ego why do we say that because sun though it's the planet of honor is the planet of pride like you know we always we, we know that the um, most uh, you know a feared enemy of the lions are the hyenas and we always say pack of hyenas and we always say the pride of lions were walking so there is this natural in, uh, instinct of self pride dignity honor but there's also ego in sun right so because there is expansion of the ego this could give you short bursts of being egoistic and whenever the guru ideally speaking this is his best friend's house sun and jupiter are best friends and ideally this should be a very comfortable position and we could have thought that maybe this is where jupiter gets exalted but jupiter doesn't get exalted in the sign of leo jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer now why because jupiter wants to only give its qualities of being um, you know jupiter is the card of education they say so whenever the guru like you can say whenever you want to uh, impart with your knowledge you will not do it till your promised higher hierarchies or higher status or higher position so there is this greed or there is this need that without this incentive of you uh, given the high highest post or climbing up in the hierarchy of the class hierarchy you are not going to want to give your knowledge and whereas jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer because cancer is the house of uh, the emotional mother she is the eternal giver who's who's more than mother for all of us she is the giver right we have life because of the mother the mother's lap gives us peace happiness security and she is also our initial guru right so now what happens is that uh, in the sign of uh, cancer jupiter keeps giving without having anything uh, in return there is no expectation there is only this desire of giving whereas in leo there is this huge uh, condition you know it becomes conditional that till you don't give me my status till you don't give me my honor till i till i do not get a privileged position in the society and till you don't see my honors in the society and you don't discuss my laurels i'm not going to give you my knowledge right so uh this is you <laughs> we're talking to you because we're all life planets here you know we're part of the a wonderful universe and our qualities are straight coming from the planets right our skin yeah. color our demeanor and our characteristics and and the karmic backdrop whatever happened in the past lives everything is a mixture of the planets so is it so um now having said that there is this need to have um ostra is to control the ego and there is this need to um of course control the ego and also to give without having anything in expectation because your planet the way it's positioned is going to fuel these qualities of you from out of you so you could be thinking that why why are already always materialistic why do i always want things in return is because of the disposition of the jupiter being in the house, house of leo conjoint with sun though i should say that uh, it's more mellow because sun is in its own house so the house becomes very powerful the house is not a weak house you know sun sits on its own throne the the uh, throne is also ruled by sun so the position is very strong but now there are a couple of other it's a very great combination it's a great combination for doing what it's a great combination for doing your own business for doing your own thing somebody like you cannot be employed by a firm you like to be self employed right you like to set your own dictates your own rules and you like people to follow you know going to follow so you you had that mindset in you because of the planetary combo and also sun uh, in leo now leo rules over the hilly terrains 
whatever the hilly, hilly plateaus or terrains or the mountainous areas are, um, the lion treads on those areas and he marks his rulership, right? So these are also uh, significant factors which you can have in your mind. And what happens is that this is also a very idealistic placement for you having a center which is an educational center. You imparting knowledge to people, like having schools or doing some professional programs uh, or having some academic knowledge because sun's the soul. And also, uh, you could have a center wherein, you know, they speak about the soul elevation programs. Like there are some meditative, maybe trans, uh, you know, to go into the trance or to have transcendental meditative programs. There is enhancement of the soul. So you could also think about having some center, which is uh, helping people to reach there. And you can also use these uh, ways to make your planet happy and to reach there. And of course, Jupiter's the boss and the powerful, you're the powerful individu individualistic person. And also there could be ego battles, which could be hap happening with the higher authorities. Like if you're working uh, with some government uh, project or you have some seniors, or you have a partner who's senior, maybe in age or maybe the proportion of investment that they have, you could be having ego uh, tassels or ego battles with them. And um, that, that you also have to understand that is happening because of the planetary position. And you could also foray in the entertainment industry because you have a Rahu conjunct here as well. So Rahu is, uh, you know, it doesn't have mass. It, it doesn't have any density. It's a shadow planet, you know, uh, Rahu. So what happens is that uh, you could definitely do some films or soap operas or these OTT shows are there. So you could have propensity to maybe make investments or find partnership in this kind of a venture because of the Rahu being there, right? And also, uh, like we spoke that we can do educative uh, business, teaching, counseling, that kind of profession you could see from this kind of a disposition. And also Jupiter's the Karka of finance along with children. We spoke about the child education is also the Karka of finance. So you're doing finance related work, okay? And also Jupiter's the Karka for children, fortune, religion, dharma. And uh, in a woman's chart, it controls her husband. That's the Karka of her husband, the quality of partner. And uh, Jupiter also speaks over your moral values, your principles, your good habits, and also your management. So that's the card. And Jupiter, um, now, Jupiter is also in a fire sign here because Leo is the fire sign. So there will be need for you to have self-respect. Like you'll often be saying to people that, oh, my self-respect is most important to me. So it's coming from this combination and of course, aggression. And we spoke about pride, we spoke about honor, and also huge levels of confidence could be reflective. And flamboyance, because along with sun, Jupiter is also the planet for flamboyance, you know? Like the showmanship quality, the flamboyant quality will come from this amalgamation. And the leadership, politics, government, authority, administration, so all of these are the favorite domains of Leo, right? And um, the person here, like you, can, you could get very idealistic, very moralist, foresighted, dutiful, committed. And your commitment levels would be very high with this kind of a combination. And Jupiter in Leo here, like we discussed, will want material success. Now, anything which is not quantifying in money or in the material way, you're not going to do it. If I say open a school and it's only going to get you, uh, you know, you'll just break even and you'll get plenty of good karma. You say, no, 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 where's the money? I need the money too. 
so the material success becomes very important with this kind of a position right and of course the propounded ego which you have to curtail now we'll we'll discuss that later that through our karmas how can we do simple remedies instead of uh, spending magnanimous amounts and getting into some um, puja some vedic ceremony it's wonderful to do vedic ceremonies but uh, just in a simple everyday way how can we get the goodness of the planet and how do we in, uh, increase the goodness and decrease the negative that we'll understand later when we'll do more detailed analysis okay so and um, now rahu here which you know that you have a rahu conjunct to so the ego trips would be ascending huh and also now there's something very interesting which i want to tell you when uh, rahu sits in the house of leo it becomes even more powerful than sun though sun is sitting in its own house it's in a very powerful position is sitting with its best friend jupiter but there is also lord rahu sitting now and whenever lord rahu sits in the house of leo it becomes a bigger king than the king himself so this is a very powerful rahu which you have i hope you know this and if you have not known it know it today so of course the selfless service is out of the window because lord rahu is materialistic he wants to take shortcuts and he wants to make quick money and he loves mass fame recognition honor and if i may so remind you that he cannot take criticism so you might not be able to take criticism <laughs> it might not be coming easy to you and it also gives you a propensity to do fault finding in people to be very over analytical very critical about people you know the nitpickers so it could this kind of a comp uh, combination could give you this propensity and also because it's a brilliant position jupiter goes in the house of leo and leo is a rajasic sign is the king, very kingly sign so what happens is that the materialistic growth is guaranteed in this jupiter time there will be material elevation material success since it's all also happening in the ochaya house and is happening in the incoming gains house which the 11th house is so the material success is guaranteed but it could be little staggered right and also a um, lot of fulfillment of desires and instead of soul elevation now when i spoke about the soul elevation it must be sounding good but you say hey i'll do it on some other time right now i need to grow my wealth so uh, that feature is more uh, in your this mahadasha so um material success and um that is there though uh you know the beautiful part is that if you do the soul elevation your inner darkness can be curtailed you know the inner fears and the inner darkness which surrounds your soul because sun is the soul and rahu uh, may cause a eclipse around your soul and rahu is the shadow planet is the dark planet so the darkness of the soul can be curtailed if we do some soul elevation so that should also be kept on mind right and law related jobs and uh paperwork you know like people who go in uh real estate there's a lot of paperwork documentation so that kind of a profession is also seen wherein people do a lot of legal paperwork and that's favorable judiciary regarding works are also very favorable from this position and this placement also speaks of researchers and also anthropologists who study human behavior so this is very interesting who study the uh, physical development of humans and the fields of genetic and very creative fields and um now your jupiter goes in little malefic influences of rahu lord rahu and lord saturn also so and jupiter is also ruling your two malefic houses i've sent you your kundli if you could just see since your uh, libra ascendant is ruling over your third house where sagittarius falls and it's ruling over your sixth house where the other sign falls which is pisces and is gone in the 11th house so um 
now we can discuss that as well but um this much we have understood yeah so now what happens is that your jupiter since it's in conjunction with five other planets so basically um most of your houses now are activated uh because of the conjunction like um jupiter mahadasha directly your third and uh sixth house along with your 11th house is activated and there are these special aspects the jupiter has fifth aspect seventh aspect ninth aspect so those houses are also active and alongside they are all the houses other than your second house your seventh house other than these two houses and your 10th house all your houses are active and this is a mixed result right so it's very challenging and it's so mixed what should i say the concoction uh, it's a mocktail no it's cocktail because rahu and uh, lord saturn are the alcohol cartas so this is the cocktail heady cocktail so i think um, for starters uh, you were introduced we've crossed the time but doesn't matter so how was your yeah how was the reaction how was your take on your session you ended your session <laughs> start of the session you were talking about yeah i said we ended the session we've crossed the okay. way 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 yeah back. yeah <laughs> yes, yes 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 i know that i know that i know that but uh, how how did you like your session you were introduced to um the beautiful world of planets and the houses so how did you like it tell me it was a it was a very uh, fine session um, uh, Uh, quite studious matlab i got to know many things about which i didn't knew earlier about this and uh, uh but the basic things were like uh, i got a clarity of, of my jupiter dasha okay, what i am going to do it's less than uh, i suppose uh, four years less left yeah. for my jupiter dasha uh, four years is a long time four years into 365 days <laughs> yeah it's a long time well i have been getting uh, mixed results in last 10 years uh, 12 years um the graph is like yeah. very wavy sure very wavy yeah must have uh, sometimes 3 uh, years it's very good and sometimes it's very uh, 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 seldom like a uh, uh, plane giving sim but uh, i yeah. got to know main things like yeah but uh, i like You know, like, this was the introduction, uh, introductory session, and um, we. I want you to do a detailed analytical session because uh, you know I have made analysis of your antar dasha because Mahadasha is the king, and antar dasha yeah. is the cabinet minister or the chief minister. So the king doesn't yeah. do the work. but without the structure and without the parameters and without the laid out um, or should i say mm. the chart or the list of the do's and don'ts which is given by the king nothing yeah. can be um, done so the framework and the structure is provided by the king the prime mm. minister and the chief ministers do the execution so yes, 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 yes. We, uh, you know we'll do our antar dasha lord analysis wherein see your chart shows you very strongly webbed with your you have a sibling probably and the sibling maybe is elder to you very powerful and you're very webbed uh intrinsically with the sibling and also in this web is the mother so till we don't understand this triangle it will be difficult for you to do anything you know i can just end your session in 2 minutes this 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 go go pay the whole fees take a 2 minute session it's not going to satisfy your soul you're born with a soul you're born with your mind you need to understand why she says what she says and then you will understand 
the remedies also that why she says these remedies what does she mean by this uh, this is for your soul's education you know what i mean so what yeah. we do is that uh, there is a detailed session and it's nice to go through the detailed session it will be very useful for your profession i will identify your profession also through your charts uh, uh, there is a reason why i didn't ask you or rahul anything because i don't want to be influenced by any uh, knowledge from your side yeah. i yeah. i'm a clean slate i'm only being written what is written through the planets I don't want any human intervention here. <laughs> so there was a reason why I didn't speak to you before. He told me, "Oh, speak to my body." I said, "I'm not speaking to your body." He says, "Why? Why?" I said, "Because I don't want any information. I don't even want to hear the voice because my subconscious will start decoding some things. You know, uh, like I'm connected with the you can say some, uh, divine forces, my uh, spirit guides who I'm connected with." I didn't want the decoding through you. I wanted it directly from them. So there was this. Okay. Still, I'm not asking you uh, any questions because I'll decode things for you. Let astrology, in a magical way, tell you what your life is about, rather than you telling me. What's the use of coming to the astro if you are only going to tell me everything? Isn't it? So these yes, final yes, things yes. of your temperament of things you understood from your session. Now I yes. uh, request you if you are happy, we'll do detailed session. Okay. Huh? Yes, of course. Of course. We'll, we'll do. We'll have to. Now, uh, see, your Jupiter is in Magha Nakshatra. If we understand Magha before that, we understand your Antardasha moon. and we understand what is moon doing in the house of cancer but in the sign of capricorn and uh, this will decode very well your profession because yeah. your fourth house is ruled by cancer we can never think it's less because your antardasha is moon node which is fourth house right and there is also some combinations uh, which we will discuss but give it time All I ask you is, don't spend colossal on remedies. I'm not going to put some uh, lakhs of rupees gemstones in your fingers or to sell some big remedies. I'm not going to do that. Something which is very life-changing, but in simple ways. So first and foremost is just take the understanding. Are you getting? It? Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course, of course, yes. So our next session we'll have. Maybe soon because I've already prepared. We've okay. a lot of time, but uh, we'll do a new session maybe tomorrow if you're happy, okay. or okay. maybe on Sunday, and we'll okay. take this beautiful journey further together. You, me, and sure, the sure, definitely. Yeah, sure, sure, definitely, definitely. Lot, lot of energies here. <laughs> He's not just you. Yeah. also we are invited invoking the energy of the planets and now absolutely we are going to thank the planets and we will tell the planets that thank you so much for your being around we invoked your energies and we had a very satisfying informative educative very soul satisfying session so we're going to thank our planets and we're going to tell them to go and do their uh whatever job they are up to till we ask them to join us the next time yeah yes yes of so, course so thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve you <laughs> <laughs> no it's okay it's um, like it was mine i think it was really a nice session it was really nice session you must be wondering why is she taking eternity to give my session <laughs> because you know i study i just don't I uh, want to give a off shot session I just uh, want to make the client have maximum value for the trust and their resources so that's the reason there's too much uh, of studying work which I do before I conduct the session and your Rahul's confidant bomb chum so 
I just did lots of extra things because you're coming from a very special source. Yes. So, so really, um, uh, maybe in a day or two, we'll uh, definitely book a session, like uh, maybe on Sunday, the coming Sunday. Yeah. And um, the, I, I got to know that you're not the um, uh, very much astrologer, like uh, who just jumps on. But to the remedy remedy part, but what is your problem? Why you're here? I'll get your remedy and you go and enjoy yourself. But yeah. it was really a knowledgeable session. We got to know. I got to know many things. And so, whatever I suggest will be the remedy will also be beautiful. So you like okay. to even book your remedy and it's going to be very cost effective. So don't be scared. No. <laughs> it will be fine. Yeah, sure, definitely. Definitely, we'll look forward next time. No problem. It was really a good session. I'm glad you had a nice time. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Bye and Om Namah Shivaya. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.